Well, some huge news last night. That, of course, is media powerhouses Disney, Fox, and Warner Brothers teaming up to launch a new sports streaming service this fall. Let's get some insight now from Geetha Ranganathan, Bloomberg Intelligence Media Analyst. I mean, just to start, set the scene for us. Uh, I was pretty surprised by this. Were you surprised? What are you making of this? Yeah, definitely. Uh, definitely a surprising move. I mean, we knew all along, Katie, that ESPN had something in the works in terms of going over the top with a streaming service, but we didn't really expect to see kind of big media band together like this. I think it's really a, a good move for these companies and it will be incrementally positive for them. I mean, this is big media kind of finally standing up to the tech companies, to Amazon, to Apple, to Netflix, which have all gotten really aggressive in terms of sports rights. And it's kind of media companies taking control of their own futures, right? They obviously have always controlled content production, but now they will control distribution as well. And uh, I want to talk about what this means for cable. Of course, that is the question on everyone's minds right now. You take a look at Charter, for example, down by almost 2% this morning. It feels like uh, one of the rallying cries for why cable still makes sense is that you still have live sports. But what does the future look like now? Yeah, that is definitely the big question. And I think, you know, we'd, we'd only probably get more answers once we know what the price of this new service is going to be. I mean, they have to be very, very careful uh, to price it at a point where they don't cannibalize, uh, you know, their existing revenues from the linear TV bundle. Because you, if you look at Fox, if you look at, you know, uh, Warner Brothers, Disney, they're all very heavily exposed, getting almost, you know, in the case of Fox, it gets almost 80% of its revenues or even more from the pay TV bundle. So obviously they don't want to cannibalize themselves. Again, they'll have to price it attractively so that it does appeal to the hardcore sports fans. Uh, but at the same time, not kind of uh, jeopardize their own future with the with the linear TV bundle. So pricing, of course, is going to be key. The rumored price point is somewhere in the forty to fifty dollar range, but we'll have to wait and watch. Yeah, fascinating to see what pricing actually uh, shakes up like. But of course, the news continues to roll on because we just got these headlines a couple of minutes ago that Netflix is greenlighting two projects with the Boston Red Sox that uh, they're going to follow an MLB team over the course of a full season. You did see Netflix share pop on the back of that news. And it really feels like this just folds into this conversation that we're having about how media is handling sports. Yeah, I mean, I think, again, it, yes, absolutely. I mean, this is, this is perfect because this is exactly what the big media companies are kind of fearing, right? You see Netflix, they went after that uh, WWE uh, raw content with five, paying $5 billion over 10 years. You see these new deals, you know, sports documentaries, more and more sports content as they kind of try to build out their advertising tier. And so it kind of makes sense that I think the media companies band together uh, and really kind of it, it's a really good defensive strategic move uh, as, as the big tech players kind of try to get into their space. All right, Geetha, really appreciate the instant analysis as always. That is Geetha Ranganathan of Bloomberg Intelligence.